Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a slideshow with two different programs, both of which are free. Uh, one is only available for Windows, or the first one is only available for Windows. The second one is available for Windows, Linux, and OS X. Um, so if you'd like to see the latter one, which is Shotcut, there will be a link in the description. Uh, getting you to the point in the video where that one starts. But for those of you who are using Windows, let's get started with that. So, the one for Windows is actually built in with the latest update, as in the Fall Creators update. It is built into the Photos app. So what you need to do is go to the Photos app, then create, um, select Create up here at the top. Then for this one, you're going to use a video project. Okay, now that you have all of your, now that you have that selected, actually, let's go back here for a second. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have all the pictures that you're going to want um, in your photos here. So to be able to do this, you either put them in your, um, the easiest way is to put them in your pictures folder here, or if you'd like to add another folder for to show up here. All you have to do is go to folders, choose where to look, select that, and then um, click add here, and you can add whatever folder you want. Say if I wanted to use um, this one here, I could have pictures in that. Okay, so now once you have that done, you go back here. Okay, sorry, I was pressing the wrong thing. Uh, you go to collection, create, video project and then select the pictures you want. I'm just going to use these. These are some of the pictures I have taken of a game that I play called Plant Side 2. Um, been taking screenshots just okay so some of them are nice. That's what I have as my background. Anyway I'm getting lost. Anyway go to add once you're done it will add all these photos in a line here and now if you press play it will actually have music and everything um, added for you. But we don't want that right now. We want our own music. So let's add music first. So you can either choose from any of the music they have here. You can listen to what it sounds like. But if you'd like your own music, add or go to your music right here and then you select the folder file you want. Now for this the easiest way to have this is to add the music to this folder right here the music you want or sound files to add it to the music folder here otherwise you'll have to do some other stuff to get it to actually work. So I have this one I got all we'll have to do is select it and we can listen to it. Okay so done now it has added it to this. And as you can see, these are moving kind of fast. Now, supposedly, Windows um, makes it where it fits best with the music, the, the, how long it stays on there. But we don't want that. So each one of these, as you can see right here, you can see how long the picture is going to be displayed. This one is going to be here for four seconds. So if we come here, we can see that this one's going to last longer but we don't want that. So what we do is we select it like I have it here, duration, and I want two seconds. So now, we, now it changes it to two. Now you can do this for any one that you want and each individually. So we're just gonna change that for now. And as you can see, it lasts a little bit longer. Okay, also you can drag these around as you see fit. Say we want this here. That's not really the way I'd want it, but you get the idea. Okay, now for this one, yeah, it doesn't really look that great. So select it, add, go to filters, and then change it back to whatever you, or change it to whatever you want it, whatever you see fit. I'm very sorry about that. Once you have selected the filter that you believe is done, that you believe best, or that you see best, just hit done. Okay, now, um, let's see, let's go to this one. Change duration. Uh, add text. Now we can add text to this. So you enter the text that you want. So for me, I'm going to go like this. Uh, was here. Why do I have that capitalized? I don't know why I have that capitalized. Okay, so ooh, we don't want that red there. So let's go to this instead. 
and well, we want the picture to show. So if you come down here to the bottom right, you will see that there are different ways you can have this. So this might be nice for something that I'm not trying to show the center of here, but for this one, I want that right there. Space. So once you're done um, selecting whatever you want, just press done and it will add it. So now when it plays, it has it right there. Okay, another thing. If you notice, it has the picture moving in the background. Don't really want that, so let's see here. Motion. You can select it here, each thing. You can have it um, zoom into this part of the picture. Personally, I just want it a solid picture for this one. Uh, you can do this to each picture individually, and it will change it. Okay, so now that you have that done, all you have to do is select, um, not that, well actually let's talk about this. You can change the format of the video, so if you want it more full screen, I believe that is full screen, go to the 4x3 landscape. Uh, 16 by 9 is what it's automatically set at, as that is your standard resolution, or standard, yeah, anyway. Once you're done there, all you have to do is press export, um, I would say go for this one. I believe it will export in 30 frames per second at 1080p. Um, just hit that and it will render it out in just a minute. Okay, now we can see the finished product. Okay, now if you'd like to see it in the folder, all you have to do is select view in view file and folder and it will open up. Now if you notice, it will be actually, to find it again, you go to pictures exported videos and it is right there. So, I believe that almost does it for this. Oh, another thing, if you'd like to do videos, you can also do videos in this as well. Um, it does work for edit video editing, uh, though to have a video, to, editing a video doesn't really work the best, but let's just do this. Add that and we shall drag it to the end here. And as you can hear, oh dear. Well, for that, you can turn down the volume of this so that you still have the background music. Okay, then you don't have the noise from this. Also, with a video, you can add, uh, well actually you can trim it by doing this here, so the video is shorter, three seconds shorter, whatever you like. You can go like that, trim it, you can also trim the end, and done, okay? Also, you can add 3D effects. I haven't done much with this, but if you like, let's see here, um, let's try this. As you can see, you can do that. And there's some other effects you can use. I think there's also snow. Um, they're, they're interesting. If you, you guys can work with them, I'm sure you can figure out something. But that's just a general idea. So now that you have seen this, let's get to the next one. All right, so here we have Shotcut. This is a free program for uh, Windows. Linux and Mac OS, or OS X, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is, There will be a link in the description. Uh, it's a bit more advanced than the last one, and uh, a little bit harder to use, but does have more features. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is add some pictures. So I have some pictures here. Let's get this so we can see it. All right, now, if we select all of these, drag them in, and they will come up here in your work bar. All right, next after that, we want to add our music, so go to music, drag that in there. All right, so as you can hear, okay. Now, let's add a audio track and a video track. So you're gonna to wanna to take this, drag it into the audio track. We'll go all the way to the end, so let's press all the way back, get you to the front. Now, let's add some of these pictures. So I want uh, this one first. Okay, so we take it, drag it, and drop it like I just did. Now, uh, you can drag it, drop, or drag, and slide it across. It will automatically snap to different places, say, uh, to this timer bar there. 
which you can uh, drag around by clicking, uh, left clicking and holding. Okay, now uh, drag this to the start. You can also get where it won't snap if you uh, deactivate this here. So there you go. I personally like it set. Okay, now uh, let's drag another one in. Drag it over, have it automatically snap. Same thing for this, it snaps in there. Same thing for that. Okay, so now if we press back, or if we take this all the way like so, come on, there we go. Okay, now if we press play, it plays them. Okay, so say you want a picture to not last as long. All you have to do is go over till you see this red line, click and drag. This will make it where it won't last as long. So then you can slide other ones in like that. If you want one to, let's say, well, let's go back like this. I want this one to last longer. Do the same thing. You snap in there like that. Um, I don't quite want it there. The red line will always be for this picture right here. You can see it's red and this one will turn green. So you know which one you're doing if, you, if they're close. Okay, so let's do that there so it ends right there. Now if we play it, you can see they last different amounts of time. Okay. All right, so if you want to add, let's say you want to add some text to this, you select it, you then add, go up to here, top, to filters, and you can add uh, different filters on here. These are general ones, I believe is what they'd be called. Favorite filters, that's it. These are for video, these are for audio. So I think there is a text. Okay, you can also have HTML, so that would be a link, I believe. Uh, you can change the volume, which we might want to do that for this. Uh, color grading, so I think, yep. As you can see, there you can do different colors for your scenes. Uh, I want it to look, ah, that looks nice to me, I guess, brings out the purple here. Okay, so if you want to add another one, or if you want, let's actually, let's do this. If you don't want it, all you have to do is deselect it. All right, so let's add some text. As you can see, it adds text. By selecting that one, you can select size here. Select depth, uh, you can select tilt, and uh, let's see, you can select location, vertical, so right there. And press reset, so it's right there. You can change the color. I want, how about red? Yeah, let's do red. Not the best looking, but just for demonstration here, so once again, Let's do this. Ah, we'll just leave it at that. Well, no, actually. Okay, so sometimes the text won't always fit, so you'll need to shrink it, like so. And we want that, like that. And about that. And vertical. Now let's do it, put it towards the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now if we watch it here. All right, looks pretty nice. So let's go to one of these. As you can see, there's other filters. All you have to do is go through them. Uh, but okay, let's work on the music. So as you can see, the clip is a little bit long. So first you want to select it like I just did. Now let's go to this one. Go all the way, no, no, go like that. Now, go all the way to the end. And if you click this button, which is split at playhead, no, I gotta have that selected. Now you press split at playhead. This comes unattached. So now all we have, as you can hear, it stops playing. Okay, so now we can remove this. And let's add some effects to this. So now go back to the filters with this selected. And for this one, we are going to want a uh, fade 
in audio. Now, fade in for this, it will it's at the start of it. So this fades it in over a second. Now what fading it in does is basically take it from the sound file from uh, totally muted to all the way up to its full volume. So let's see. We want this at two seconds. There we go. Now we start It's a little bit different, so let's listen to it without it on. And as you can see, it fades it in. Okay, now let's add a fade out audio. Same thing, it starts uh, one second from the end and fades it out. I want to put it on three seconds. So we'll go three and should. Fade it out just like it did. Okay, so that worked. Now, if we want to adjust this volume, all we have to do is add another effect. Uh, let's see here. Go to favorites, and it should be gain and volume. Okay, so now we go all the way back. Oh, let's do this. As you can hear, it just lowered the volume. So you can adjust the volume of each thing like this. Also, if you have a video file in here that has a um, soundtrack, you can uh, add this, all of these to it, and it will have the same effect on, video, on the audio of your video as well as any audio tracks. All right, so now that we have that done, we, let's go up to Export. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention before we export. Uh, say we want to make this fade. All you have to do is select it, drag it over another one, and it adds this little fading effect, or whatever. Uh, I think fading is what it's called. So now, when, okay, there we go. Now, when it goes between this picture and this picture, it will have an effect. There you go. And for anything that you don't want done, all you have to do is press Control Z and it as many times as you want and it will delete the adjustments that you made. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go to export, which brings up this here. You can adjust the frame rate. Personally, I want to do 60 frames per second. So let's do that. Leave all of this the way it is, unless you want to make the resolution different. If you have a video, this can work good. If you have, say, a video that is 720p and you want to change it to 1080p, all you have to do is put in 1920 by 1080 and it should render in full HD instead of uh, 720p. Okay, so now that you have that done, all you have to do is press export, select the place where you want to save this uh, project, name your project. So we're just going to name it test because it's so original and press save. Now we'll come over up over here and it will start rendering and depending on the size of your project this will be done in a matter of a few seconds for this one. For bigger projects it can take you know more time depending on the size. Okay so now that that's done we can close this. Do we want to save? You can save a folder. Personally, I'm not a file, excuse me, to come back and edit it later. Personally, I'm not going to do that. So no. Now, if we go over here, right here on the desktop, we have the slideshow we just made. So let's see what it looks like. All right. And let's check this out. That looks pretty good. Details, as you can see, it's 15 seconds long, 1920 by 1080p. It gives all the information, and it is 60 frames per second. So now we have, we have now created a slideshow. Uh, like I said, the uh, this link to Shotcut is in the description. Hope you all enjoyed. If this video was helpful. Uh, likes are helpful for me. Uh, if you'd like more, you can also subscribe. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you all next time.